Welcome everyone to our New Year's Eve burning bowl celebration. Here we are. It, we are at the end of 2020. <laughs> Did you ever think we'd make it through this one? We have a sacred ceremony that we do every year where we release through a burning bowl, whatever it is that we are just so done with. Now, a lot of us might want to release 2020. We might want to release the pandemic, but that isn't really in our power. I mean, 2020 is going to be gone, whether we release it or not, but, but our attitude about 2020 is what's in our power. Our attitude about the pandemic is something that we can release. We do not have to remain in combat with it if we are. So attitudes are the most powerful thing that you can release in this ceremony. You might also want to release habits. Maybe you're, you know, finally ready to stop smoking or you realize you eat way too much sugar and you're you're ready to stop that. Maybe maybe you find that you're so reactive to other people and you're ready to let go of that reactivity and become more peaceful and thoughtful in your responses. Things like that are, are things that you can release. And that's what I would encourage you to think about. So I'm going to invite you to take some time right now to listen to this piano music that Dave is going to do and and just be in meditation about what is it that you need to release. And when you are ready, you're going to take a pencil or a pen and you're going to write on this little piece of paper, this wish paper. And if you didn't end up getting that, then just use a piece of paper, but, but make it small. And, and if you have a lot that you want to release, you're going to write it all down on that and then just keep writing. It doesn't matter if you write over top of what you just wrote before because you're going to burn it. <laughs> Nobody's going to read it. So don't worry about spelling or penmanship. Just really get clear on what is in your way, what you are ready to release. And then when you're done, we're going to fold it up. Let me show you how you do this right now. Just fold it like that. Okay? So, go into meditation now and get in touch with what you're going to release.
Okay, so you've got your paper now, and now you're going to write it. You're going to light it. So you hold it up like this, and you just get your lighting thing. There it is. It's done. Mine didn't fly up, but yours might. <laughs> um, but that's all there is to it. You can, if you have a bowl outside that you want to light it in, we'll just take a minute and continue to listen to some music, light your paper, and realize it's done now. This is gone.
Now, now that we're done with that, we're done with what we don't want to carry forward, it's time to move forward and find a word of power, an intention that is going to guide you through the year. And I'm going to lead you on a guide journey to do that. And part of that will be finding a spirit animal that will help you in that process to um, embody whatever the intention, the word is that you come up with. So don't try to pre-plan this. Just be open to what comes. And if you haven't done a lot of guided meditations before, I just want to encourage you to use all of your senses. Every sense that you have in the material world, you have in the inner world. You just imagine what it would be like to smell or to hear or to see. If you end up not quote, seeing anything or getting any message. It's just all dark and blank to you. What I have discovered is that using your kinesthetic sense is really helpful. I'm sure you've all had the experience of saying, oh, what was the name of that song? And then the name pops in your head. Somehow, this motion helped you to connect something fired inside your brain. So if you're having trouble with the visualization, just imagine that you're walking through this visualization, feeling things, and you'll, you'll get information. And whatever you get, just go with it. Don't second guess. Don't tell yourself, oh, I'm just imagining it. Yes, you're imagining it, and that's a good thing. Your imagination is a huge power. So let's just take a minute now Close your eyes. Just focus on your breathing. And let yourself imagine that you're slipping from the material realm into the deep inner realm. Picture yourself on a path through a wooded area. Imagine that there are candles lit all along this path, beautiful luminaria. You can see sparkling lights in between the trees, fairies perhaps, or angels watching you as you walk. Notice the sounds that you hear. Can you hear an owl in the distance? Are there night sounds of critters? What do you smell? If you reach out and touch a passing tree as you walk, what kind of a smell do you get on your fingers? Can you sense the cool air on your skin or the soft earth beneath your feet? As you walk through this wooded world, imagine as you follow the lighted path, you come to this beautiful door. Take a minute to appreciate the door. This is a door of intention. Notice what it's made of. Use your hands and touch the door. In a minute, you're going to open the door of intention. And on the other side of the door, you'll be in a very different landscape. Whatever your imagination supplies. But what is important 
about the other side of the door is not the landscape. What is important is a word that comes to you. It's a direction. Your life is going to adjust in 2021 because of this powerful intention. It may be that as you walk through the door, the word will just pop to mind. Or it may be that you need to go and talk to your own wisdom and you will encounter a wise figure that is your own self personified and the wise figure will give you a word. So I invite you now to open the door and walk through into the space of intention and in the silence, find your word. Now, once you have your word, you're going to walk a little further into this landscape. And perhaps now the landscape matters because you are looking for an animal. An animal that just appears before you. An animal whose medicine is exactly what you need in order to fulfill the intention that you have. So once again in the silence, explore your environment and find an animal that wants to be there for you. Trust whatever pops to mind. Don't second guess it or look for something you like better. And then you're going to bring yourself back to the room that you're in through the door of intention. Gently open your eyes and take your rock and a marker. And on the mar rock, you're going to write your word of power. And it could be that it's not a word, but a phrase. For example, I got create from stillness. So you just write that on your rock. And then you also write the spirit animal. I got a giraffe who looks 
up high and nourishes itself from the leaves that grow up high. It feels like a perfect animal to help me with my intention for this year. I hope you got one that really excites you as well. And if it's something that you don't know about, I mean, you probably have heard of the animal, but if you don't know what the animal's medicine would be, I invite you to uh, just Google the animal and put spirit medicine or animal medicine and see what comes up. Or maybe you have one of those books or a deck of cards that you can refer to. Because sometimes when you do that, you'll get such amazing insight into the medicine that the animal is offering for you. It also might be that you just want to go into meditation and spend time with that animal and see what direction it is leading you in. But, but put this rock somewhere where you're going to see it, see it every day. And if you do, you will be guided by this intention and this animal. And when we are doing the ceremony in 2021, you will have cause for great gratitude for what has come about during the year for you. So we're going to end the ceremony now with some music. This music is about leaving behind everything that we have identified as that is not serving us and recognizing who we really are, the light. This music is sung by Unity of the Valley and Eugene, and it's sung by young people. And I, I love that it is because young people represent the hope for our world. They represent our future. And we always want to invest in our young people. So as you listen to this, I encourage you to really let it be your theme song to remind you who you are and what you are growing into. I am so glad that you chose to spend some time this New Year's Eve with us. This Unity community has been so nurturing to me, and I hope that it has been to you as well. If you want to support us with your money, you can text us, you can donate at unitycentraloregon.org. But most of all, please know that as part of us, you are making a difference in this world. Your light is shining so brightly. And that's the truth of who you are. That's the truth of who we are. Have a happy new year. And may your intention be something that you are committed to. Namaste. Pieces of the brokenness inside